have a good day at school, sweetie. And don't tell the teacher about my heroin abuse. Uh, or the drinking. The heroin. Fuck. How that? I'm gonna drive. Good luck. Oh, hey, dude, what's up? Oh, hey, how's it going? What are you doing with that hammer? Well, this is Richard's hammer. The one he's always seen with, you know, beating people up and shit. Some bullshit he bought at Spencer's or some whatever the fuck. Um, you know, he used it back in his first year to beat you up, remember? Yeah, and I told him to go shove it. That's exactly my point! You see, I've been contemplating something and, you know, I thought after all these years, you know what, I'm finally just gonna do it. I'm, I figured after all these years, I'm finally just gonna try and do it. I've, I've had this idea for a long time. What are you talking about? Wait, hold on a second, hold on a second. Here he comes, here he comes, hold on. Well, well, if it isn't the unpopular swines in their natural habitat outside of the establishment I claimed as my own by pissing everywhere in the hallway. Uh, that, that wasn't me. I, I, I didn't just uh, confess to that. But my point is, what are you guys doing out here? Waiting for me to come by so you can kind of get a whiff of my popularity? Hey, wait a second. That's my hammer! What do you have my hammer for, you Richard, we've all seen Supernatural, and I would just like to say that I am a Satanist, and I have cursed this object, so that way if you shove this hammer straight up your ass, you will live forever for the rest of your damn life. Enjoy! We all know I'm into freaky shit, it could be true. I put a hex on the hammer. You just gotta be man enough to find out if it's real. Come on, Chad. Let's go continue our sermon. Bye-bye, Richard. I hope you live forever in Cthulhu's ball sack. What he said? I fucking love Supernatural. I've only ever... But, but I, I could live forever and be popular forever. I love Supernatural. It all makes sense. It all makes sense now. It all makes sense. Well, Chad, this is the day we learned that if you think they're dumb enough to do it, they're probably dumb enough to do it. And he was going to read it on Facebook. Eventually, so I mean, it's not really my fault. Yeah, if you believe anything on Facebook, you're a fucking moron. You are pretty fucking stupid. Nobody likes him. Nobody likes him. Nobody cares. Fuck Richard.